Vinidex introduces jointing directions for PVC solvent cement jointing. In this video, we will cover two types of PVC solvent cement jointing, pressure and non-pressure. It's important to always use the correct solvent cement for the application. Type P is for pressure applications, including potable water installations designed to develop high shear strengths with an interference fit joint geometry. Type N is for non-pressure applications, designed for interference fit joints where maximum strength is not a requirement. The first step is to prepare the pipe. Check that the pipe has been cut square with all the burrs removed with a deburring tool. Two, witness mark the pipe. Mark the spigot with a witness mark at a distance equal to the internal depth of the socket. Three, dry fit the joint. Dry fit the spigot into the socket. Check the pipe for proper alignment. Any adjustments for the correct fit can be made now, not later. For pressure pipes, the spigot should interfere in the socket before it is fully inserted to the pencil line. Ovality in the pipe and socket will automatically be re-rounded in the final solvent cementing process, but heavy walled pipe may give a false indication of the point of interference. Do not attempt to make a pressure pipe joint that does not have an interference fit. Contact Vinodex if this occurs. 4. Prepare with priming fluid. Dry, degrease and prime the spigot and socket with a lint-free cloth dampened with Vinodex priming fluid using gloves. 5. Brush selection. The brush should be large enough to apply the solvent cement to the joint in a maximum of 30 seconds. Six, apply solvent cement. Apply a thin, even coat of solvent cement inside the socket first, then apply a heavier, even coat up to the witness mark on the spigot. Seven, inserting the spigot. Insert the joint in one single movement. Rotating the spigot one quarter turn will aid solvent distribution. Eight, push the spigot home. The spigot must be fully homed into the socket with the final 10% of spigot penetration being crucial. Nine, hold the joint against movement for a minimum of 30 seconds. Do not disturb the joint during this phase. 10. Wipe off excess solvent cement. For a neat professional joint with a clean rag, wipe off excess solvent cement immediately from the outside of the joint. 11. Do not disturb the joint. Once the joint is made, do not disturb it for five minutes or rough handle it for at least one hour. 12. Cure the joint. Joints cure faster when the humidity is low and the temperature is high. Please consider your health and safety by always using correct PPE gear to protect your skin and eyes. Solvent cements are toxic and have highly flammable vapours, so don't work in unventilated or confined spaces and keep away from naked flames, sparks and hot surfaces. For more information, please refer to the Vinodex Quick Installation Guide Solvent Cement Jointing for PVC or contact Vinodex.